I have had such a fortunate life, it scares me. Tell me about that. Yes. I have had a very fortunate life. And when I look at the way the world is, is toddling on destruction now, this scares me. This is something I think about when I wake up in the morning. All day I think about it. Before I close my eyes at night, I think about it. And I wandered through the muse one day, and right at the end of that muse, I looked up and saw the end of a building. And it said British Museum. So I went on through and walked up the steps and into the first floor. And I saw cases with beautiful pieces of African sculpture. And then when I saw that, I went up to a staircase and kept going. And I saw a huge hall with walls of African sculpture. And I kept going back to that same floor over and over again, and I saw the reflection of a, a, a man with a work smock on, and uh, I thought it was strange. I felt one of his arms go around my shoulder. That don't happen from an English person to a stranger. And I looked up, finally looked up at him, and he says, might I introduce myself? And I said, yes, sir. He says, my name is William Fagg. I'm the ethnographer keeper. He said, you seem to like these antiquities. I said, yes, sir. He says, well, would you like to come into my workplace? And I said, yes, sir. So he went through the door of the ethnography room. And we went in there, and his desk was just loaded with stuff. And he sat behind the desk, and he said, have a seat. And I sat in front of him. And he says, would you like to have a cup of tea with me? And I said, yes, sir. And uh, as I'd come back, he'd greet me. And he made it so simple for me. And I got carried away looking at these sculptures and the Benin bronze plaques and all of this. And uh, I said, and I said, you know, I'd like to apply for a second year's grant for the Fulbright. I said, I'd like to get you to teach me the symbolic meaning of these sculptures in the everyday lives of the people. The moon the Ghana people call Mame. The sun, no, no. The moon they call me. The stars, you see, when there's a moon, there are stars. The stars they call Pickens. The sun they call Pape. But when the slaves were brought over, and the white masters heard them saying, Mame, Pickens, Pape. They said, No, not Mame, Mammy, not Pickens, Pickaninny, not Pape, Pappy. They demeaned everything that they heard the slaves say to guttural. They heard the word Niger, which means black. They said, no, nigger. You see? I, I, I still can remember fragments that we had to remember of Ode to a Skylark. Hail to thee, blind spirit, bird thou never wert, that from heaven or near it pourst thou profile soul in strains of unpremeditated art. Higher still and higher, thou dost float and run like a cloud of unbuttered joy. Whose rays is just begun. You know, and all of these kind of things, which children don't even know about today.